Hi, so I'm back in Previs Pro and I'm just going to do a quick video about what you get with Pro. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to continue and I'm going to show you what you get or what you don't get if you are in the just trial version. So what I find quite annoying is if I want to add a prop, I can go here and I can add a prop. And if I go to medium, I can't see what my props are because it doesn't let me see what the locked props are. So I can only see things that are unlocked. So I don't know if it's worth getting it or not. And I hope this video is gonna help you decide whether it's worth getting or not. So it currently costs 70 pounds annually or 200 pounds for a lifetime. Let's find out if it's any good. So I'm going to enable the free trial. So welcome back, I've just enabled the free trial. It does say risk-free and commitment-free. Actually, what will happen as I found out is you have to, you sign up for a subscription and you have to cancel it. That's what makes it risk-free. So if you don't want to take the risk of being billed 70 pounds a year or 200 pounds for a lifetime, then I recommend you enable the free trial and then you go and cancel it directly after you've enabled it. So let's have a look at what we get in props. So I'm going back and I can see what we get. So if I go to weapons, I can see all the weapons we get, which is it's quite a lot. So I'm not going to go through everything for you, but yes, I can see the props are very good. We've got cash, money, furnishings, loads of really good things, things that are pretty much everyday items that are going to be really difficult for you to get anywhere else for your sort of previous stuff. Yeah, I think the, these photography tools are very good as well. These are good directions that tell you fix pan tilt etc that's really good effects rain and other things vehicles yeah i think this is very good now i wonder if you can customize the color so i'm going to put this in let's move the object over here let's edit it fantastic so we can swap the shape out which is really good but we can also change the saturation and the hue can't change the color but we can at least change the hue and it seems to be yeah so it's going to stay gray but and we can change the brightness but it's more like things of the wheels and the inside and the windows so i think that's that i'm happy with that now the other thing i also wanted to check out was exporting so if i go to export before i couldn't export as a movie all I could do was export as an image or a PDF. So I'm going to go to export as a movie. We've got the option to export with information on the top or just export as a movie. I'm just going to export as a movie. Let's go. So I'm going to save that to videos and let's have a look at that movie. So one thing I had done was I'd put in some movement into this and unfortunately that movement isn't really showing, which is a shame. But I've given a quick overview of what you get when you take out the pro version and you, you upgrade. You get the ability to export as a movie, which can be useful, and you get the ability to have more props and to change their colors. There's probably other abilities and functions you get, but for me, those are the main ones and the reason for doing the upgrade. Will I keep it? I'll let you know in a future video. Thank you. Goodbye.